Okay, so uh, in this video I want to start covering something called compass bearings. Uh, now you need to sort of put yourself in the right frame of mind for this. Imagine, here we are, imagine you're in this boat here and you want to go in a certain direction. Uh, you take out your compass and your compass tells you where you're going to go. Uh, so that's basically what we're doing in this video. Now before we start, you really need a few things. You need a pencil and you need an eraser. But you're going to make mistakes and you... And like once you put ink on this page, it's going to be a mess if you stuff up and go back to where you started. So these two things are pretty important for the exam and for when you're practicing. You're going to need a ruler because you're going to need to draw straight lines. And this thing I'll give you in class, this is going to be our compass uh, that we're going to use, or our protractor, I guess you would call it. Okay, uh, so let's run through a couple of questions so you can see this. Um, before we start, let's, let's talk about what's actually going on here. Okay, so when we're talking about direction, uh, we always use north as our starting point. Now, you should remember we've got east, south, west. Never eat soggy wheat fix. Uh, now, if you, both want, if you want to go in a certain direction, north or east or south or west, that's easy. You just need to say the words. Uh, but for everything else, it gets more complicated, like if you want to go in this direction here. Now, the way that this works, uh, we're going to talk about true bearings today. Okay, so they're called true bearings. Okay, so the way that true bearings work is they start at north, and north is called zero degrees true. Okay, and all measures are measured by moving in a clockwise direction from north. Okay, so for example, if somebody tells you to go 90 degrees true, they're telling you to go in that direction. If someone tells you to go 180 degrees true, they're telling you to go, again, start at north, go 180 degrees, they're telling you to go in this direction, south. And if someone tells you to go 270 degrees true, they're telling you to start here and go all the way around to 270 and start going in that direction. Okay, right, let's do an actual couple of questions. Uh, okay, so here's our first question here. Start at point A and travel at 70 degrees true. Okay, so here's point A. Take your protractor and move it up to the top. Now, when you move it there, you'll see that I've put the center exactly where A is. It's important that you try to be as accurate as possible. And I've put the number 360 at the top, facing north. Okay, and then it's really just as simple as counting around your compass. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There's the spot. Right there. Now, if I get in my boat and I travel at 70 degrees true, it means I'm traveling in that direction. So I'm going to start here and my boat's going to go chug, 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 all the way over there. All right, a couple more questions. So here's our second question. Start at point Y and travel 230 degrees true. Now, you can see point Y is over here, so we get out our compass. Now, the problem here is that point A had a nice little line that was going along it. Uh, point Y doesn't have that. So just when you do it, make sure that you try to line this line up with this line. Okay, Try to make them as accurate as possible. And again, we just count all the way around. It's going to take a little longer this time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, there's 230. Take your ruler, go from Y through that point, arrow. Good, our boat's going from this point and going in this direction. Um, that's really all there is to that. Now you can see that I'm, I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying to keep things really, really simple. I might just do one more so you can see, uh, you can see the method that I'm using. Okay, so our last question here is start at point D and go 359 degrees true. Okay, here's our point D. Our compass sits there. 
Remember, line that line up, that line there, with this line here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, 180, 272, 80, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 351, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 359. You can see that I'm almost going north, but I'm a little bit in that direction. Now, obviously, you could have just sort of gone backwards a little bit. I like to go all the way around my compass. If you always start in a clockwise direction and think about what you're doing and then draw your line, uh, you shouldn't stuff these up. Uh, okay, so that's compass bearings. Uh, and we've been looking at true bearings and sketching them on our map.